Hi Bernie, we're just doing a quick video. So there's the sim. There's the circuit board for the steering wheel we got a bit of a problem with, but I'll have it fixed. So this is a Formula Ford at Dijon. So the car's just come out. And I just thought I'd show you a sort of driver's eye view of the track. The car is a Formula Ford model that I had downloaded some time ago. So you've got kerbs, um, there are little markers on the track, cones, runoff areas. And what happens is over time you end up with rubber that gets left on the track. So you you can actually get better grip as the day goes on. I do have some telemetry data that we can record um, and I, I use the AIM software so we can actually download all of your laps and you can take the data away with you. And there's another app where we can look at your, your pedals um, and your your braking points. So normally what we do, we just do a couple of laps and we concentrate on the braking points. And then your job, lap after lap, is to brake later and later and later until you've outbraked yourself and then we kind of find the limit. So the car got quite loose going in the bend there. We can also make changes to the setup of the car. We can change the roll bars, the downforce, the tyre pressures, the gear ratios. Uh, quite a lot can be changed. And you can explore what the effects of different setups can be, um, which I find is quite useful. Um, there are lots of different vehicles that we could test in. We've got a Radical, which is a great car to test in because they have downforce. You can really throw them around and concentrate on learning the track. We've got other cars like Caterhams, um, and we have a nice, reasonably powered car called an Alpine. And Jamie really likes that because it does seem to handle quite similar to his Janetta. Uh, but it's quite amazing. With the motion turned on, you do actually feel everything the car is doing. If I just turn the motion on. Oh, I have to restart it with it turned on. Yeah, I have to restart the software with it. Oh no, 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 it's come back to life. So at the moment, the car's going down the straight. You can see it's starting to move. Not, not mass, there's not a massive amount of move. Oh, here we go. So I'm on the back of the seat. You can feel all the little bumps, the curbs, as the car brakes. As you start to lose lose grip, you can feel the car um, grumbling at the back end. So there's a so the car is currently an AI. Bit of curb there. You can see that these two are probably going to get tangled in a minute. quite narrow in places this track um, and it's quite useful to get stuck behind another car and you can try out where you can actually throw it up the inside without obviously the risk of killing yourself or damaging the car anyway Bernie I'll post this video up and I'll speak to you shortly mate